This was a escaped prisoner. He was real bad at murderer. On the lam for a few days, close to the Canada border. So the border patrol got involved. And one of the Fortac guys shot him from distance, right in the fucking head. Found him in a little hideout cabin, came up, identified him, said something. The guy grabbed the gun and freaking whoosh, whoosh. And I trained that dude five times. Yeah. Mac, can you share some success stories or examples of how your training programs have made a positive impact on individuals or organizations? It's a very great reward when somebody pings you and says, hey, man, I did this thing, and because of your training, I came out victorious. I've gotten him a bunch, a lot of times from, I'll give you a few examples. Soldiers many times. Hey, I went on this deployment. We got in this firefight. I did these things because you told me to, like mm -hmm. mag change when I wanted to, or use of cover. And because of I did what you told me to, I am alive today. And I've gotten a bunch of those from GIs. So, man, that's value. It's very, very rewarding to me. I, I guarantee the squad knows who uh, uh, Chris Craighead is. Do you know that name? Yeah. You know, the British yeah. SAS guy, yeah. uh, Nairobi, uh, Kenya, yeah. uh, hostage situation. He went in by himself. He got done with that. He was in the States and he pulled me aside. He goes, hey, man, a lot of my success was because of you. And I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> He said, well, a year before, we were here. And I said, oh, yeah, fuck, dude, what the hell? And you went over in detail these drills that I should work on, some drills. And then I started following other drills that you do, and they really got my proficiency up and my confidence up. I was like, uh, well, shit, I appreciate that, man. I mean, that was all you, bro. But if I had a positive influence whatsoever on your success I am, I'm thank, just thank you, bro. Thank you for, so that was a big one. Um, you just wish you would have been there with him that day. Right. Oh, that would have been so cool. <laughs> you know, that would have been cool as hell. The body um, count. A couple years back was a um, escaped prisoner. He was, uh, he was real bad egg, real bad murderer. Escaped prisoner, like upstate New York. On the lam for a few days close to the Canada border. So the border patrol got involved and border patrol, one of the board tech guys shot him from distance right in the fucking head, <laughs> found him in a little hideout cabin, came up, identified him, said something. The guy grabbed the gun and freaking whoosh, whoosh. And I trained that dude five times mm. into five of my courses, you know, rifle courses. A cool one. This was a cool one. I, I was working with the Connecticut State Police, their tactical team. It was a vehicle interdiction course, vehicle tactics. Four days worth. I ran them through the freaking ringer. Training ended early on Friday, like one or something. I'm heading home, and I'm driving my ass off back to North Kakalaki. I get a couple texts. I'm just driving. I stop for gas, and I look at my text, and it's from the the. And it's now it's, it's late. It's 11, it's midnight, you know, it's late. And the guy who was in charge of the training sent me a video. He said, bro, we just did this hit and used your tactics on these major oh, drug dealers. Wow. <laughs> and he sent me the video of him doing, using the tactics that I just taught. I just wow. taught him these. So that was a real cool one. That was, mm. I was like, bro, thank you so much. I remember him saying, yeah, we bedazzled the fuck out of him because I told him, <laughs> I talked about breaking windows, you know? Mm -hmm. I said, don't open doors, break windows. Where the head goes, the body will follow. You don't need to open a door. Now you got an obstacle in your way. Just pull those suckers out through the freaking hole. Mm. So he bedazzled them, you know, smashed the windows and the cat glass all over him. He said, we, we bedazzled them. <laughs> <laughs> yep. But they used the bangers the right way. Everything was perfect. It was like textbook. Just the way I taught him as I'm watching this video, I'm going, that's how a freaking VI should look right there when you're dealing with bad dudes. Yep. Yeah. Because you went through every possible contingency. These guys have guns. These guys are really are willing and able to fight, you know, that kind of shit. There's a couple right there that I, I came up with. That's great. Yep.